Hello friends and welcome back to Mediterranean palette. Look at this beautiful garlic challah. Today I wanted to introduce to you my winning recipe for a soft, delicious challah that is flavored with garlic, green onion, and olive oil. Oh, what a beautiful recipe. What a tasty challah to enjoy. Let's start. Let's start by adding a half cup of warm water to the mixer. And to this we're going to add one tablespoon of dry yeast. Next we're going to add a quarter cup honey and we're gonna give it a good mix. And now we will let it sit for about three minutes. Let's add one egg yolk to the yeast mix. And now let's add two more eggs. One third of a cup of vegetable oil. One and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And now I'm ready to add three cups plus three fourth of a cup of flour and now we're going to let the mixer work for about eight minutes my bowl is ready with a little bit flour sprinkled at the bottom and now i can transfer the dough to the bowl and i'm going to sprinkle the top with a little bit flour again Now I can cover the bowl with clear plastic and I will let the dough rise for about an hour and a half. In the meantime, let's work on the garlic mixture. I am chopping a quarter cup of green onions and dice them really small. I'm adding one large garlic clove and we're going to mince it. I am adding one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon salt, and I'm adding a half teaspoon pepper, but it's optional. Mix the garlic mixture well and set it aside. And this is how our wonderful khala dough looks after an hour and a half. It rises beautiful. Roll out the dough to open. The dough should be the thickness of about quarter of an inch. Now let's divide the dough to three equal parts. spread the garlic onion olive oil mixture equally on all three parts. Spread the mixture evenly on all three parts. Now pinch the two ends of each part to create kind of a long log. And let's transfer the three logs onto the baking pan and we are doing it before we start the braiding. 
When you're done braiding, tuck the ends underneath the challah. Brush the challah with the remaining egg white that we saved. And lastly, my favorite, sprinkle sesame seeds on top. I also like to add two cups so that I can create a height so that the towel does not stick to the challah. Then I cover and I let rise for another 40 minutes. Now we can bake our challah at 350 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, then cover loosely with foil and bake another 10 more minutes. And your challah will be beautiful and ready. That's it, my friends. This is also the time to say thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please join us, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the like button and share to your circle. Our challah is beautiful. Our challah is so soft and so tasty. It's wonderful as a toast or add it to any meal at the table. Thank you, my friends, for joining me today, and I would love to see you in our next video. Bye.